Hey guys, welcome to Aussie Survival Adventure, around the bush today, i got the boys with me. Going to make a couple of videos, so I'll be using this intro for a few of them, for all of them rather. Um, well, let's... Hi guys, welcome back to Aussie Survival and Preparedness. We've got the Gobo um, strong arm today. So this attachment here allows for it to be attached to body armour in conjunction with that. But this attachment that I just got part of also will make it clip onto your belt so you feed the belt through this big loop here it then attaches there and is locked into place like this and i think that also um, forms part of the body armor attachment so and then the, you just squeeze in there which is normally a lot easier and that's that um so you using that you can carry it on the smaller your back is a very small knife so it's um very good now taking it out you got nice little grooves here to push with your thumb it comes out i'll probably end up cutting this off later because i just don't like them um i find that this securing system here is more than enough um, it doesn't want to come out at all um yeah so let's go elijah can you bring me that stick that you got thanks buddy yeah, it's yeah, so this is a nice little stick, just showing off this knife a little bit. It just loves to take material off. If you needed to create a spike for something, you could easily create a spike. Mm -hmm. uh, always cut away from you so you don't cut yourself. You've got some serrations here which do a little bit of a good job for cutting that, but as you know, I carry the Gerber machete, which has a big saw on it anyway. Um, it, so, I'm not going to risk doing this again, but you can put this in here, if it was a bigger piece, and then hammer that down with another chunk of wood to split this if you, you were trying to get firewood. Um, if you're just trying to clean up a branch, it does it pretty well. Nice clean cuts there, if you can't see. Very sharp knife. As I found out a little bit earlier. Um, oh, yes, this will probably become my normal camping knife now. Unfortunately for the um, Gerber infantry, I've actually fallen in love with this knife. It's just a really good knife um, by Gerber. Well done guys. Couldn't be happier with this knife. This knife cost me about 130 at Anaconda Australian dollars. But you can get them on eBay a little bit cheaper. There's also another version of the knife that I actually wanted that doesn't have these serrations. It's just a nice um, sharp blade the whole way through. And I may be trying to require one of those in the future as well. And then I can show you guys the difference between them. Um, this is strong steel blade. So don't worry about bashing it, dropping it. Obviously try not to drop your knife, but if you do, this thing's going to survive, man. I've had my Gerber infantry for years, I think nearly eight years. And it has been abused and still functions it looks beautiful so yeah if you're looking for a good knife the gerber infantry 100 percent recommend this knife um otherwise guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next video